I'm just waiting for some people to join me tonight. So this is going to be my first time making a video in TikTok. So I'm going to be making a video of how to make this beautiful bow. Look at how pretty. I want to teach other how to make it and the way that I learned how to make it because I know there's a lot of um, bow makers out there that you can make it but this one I found it more easier to make it and it took a lot of practice because when I started making this bow and I started making wreaths it was very challenging for me to make them but it took a lot of practice so I'm going to start how to make it. Okay. So we're going to start with the first ribbon. This one is going to be the base. So this one, it is 2.5 inches. So I'm going to make the tail, which is 8 inches of tail. Then I'm going to grab from the 8 inches and make my first loop. So my first loop is going to be of four inches and then when you make your four inches loop you are going to hold it in the middle then you're gonna twist it to make your second loop and this is gonna be four inches as well okay so there you go, you have your first bow with two loops. Now we're gonna make the third loop. Okay, look at how pretty. Then you're gonna twist it. And then you're gonna make your third loop. Now you're gonna make your four loop. All right, so there you go. There's your base. And now you're gonna grab your um, pipe cleaner. But before that, you're gonna make another tail. Make sure it's eight inches. And then you're gonna cut. All right, so you're going to use your pipe cleaner and you're going to secure by twisting the pipe cleaner in the middle. All right, and there you go. There is the first, the first bowl that you made. Look at how pretty. So now I'm going to use the black and white, the burlap blade. So you're gonna be doing the same measurement that you used the first one. So we're gonna do, but for this one, the tail, we're gonna make it smaller. So it's gonna be six inches. Then you grab it and you're gonna make a loop of four inches. Okay, it's four inches, make the loop, and you hold in the middle. All right, we're gonna go with the second loop. You twist, make the loop, make sure that it's the same measurement as the first loop. Twist in the middle, and there you go. You got your first two loops. Now we're gonna make, um, the third loop I do not measure the third loop because I go by the first ones that I make so I will make sure that they're both the same okay there you go so and then I will make the four loops but you have to twist first in the middle it's a little bit challenging this ribbon okay there you go 
and there's your four loop and twist in the middle. Then you're gonna cut six inches from the, the center. I'm sorry if you guys hear my daughter in the background, she's inside, but I'm a mother of three. So you might hear a lot of noise right now. Okay. So now this, this bowl, you're gonna put it as the opposite of the first bowl. So this one is gonna go the opposite. I would say upside down. And there you go. Don't worry about the ends. The ends, we're gonna do it at the end. All right. So now we're gonna do the red ribbon. We're gonna do six inch as well of the tail. And now you're gonna grab from the middle and you're gonna make a loop of four inches. Okay, there you go, it's my first loop. Now you twist in the middle to make the second loop. And then you wanna make sure that you are doing four inches for this one as well. Okay. Then you twist in the back. <clears throat> and you're gonna make your third turn loops. And you're gonna make the four loop by twisting in the back and making the four loops. Okay, now you want to make sure you have six inches for the tail. And then you're going to cut. Okay, this one, we're going to put in the opposite of this, of the white and black ribbon. And then you're going to tie it with a pipe cleaner. All right, there you go. Look at how pretty. You can see how it looks. Okay. Now we're gonna do the last one. But this one, you're only gonna do two loops. And the tail is gonna be a little bit shorter. So the tail is going to be four inches. You're going to graph, make your four loop. Your, the loop is going to be two inches. Because this is going to be the center of the bow. Then you twist in the back and you make the other loop. Okay. And then you're going to cut four inches for the little tail. Okay, that's done. So now I'm gonna attach it to the rest of the, um, the bow ribbons. Okay, then twist it. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put hot glue a little bit here in the center because you wanna make sure that the bow is secure and don't fall apart. So I'm gonna put hot glue here, in the center, and then you're gonna put it together. I'm not sure who is here. I'm sorry, I know. Saludo, buenas noches. Yo también hablo en español. <laughs> Muchos saludos, disculpe. Estoy tratando de usar mi otra cuenta y en verdad que se me hace difícil. Es la primera vez que estoy haciendo este, 
el live de TikTok, so tengo que estar aquí, este... Estoy aquí aprendiendo, estoy aprendiendo a hacer el live. Saludo. Welcome everybody, this is my first time making this video, so bear with me. Um, this is my first time using TikTok uh, in my business. So I'm trying to see who's here with me and now. Uh, I appreciate you guys for all the patience. So I'm making a handmade bowl. Estoy haciendo aquí un lazo que yo hago para las coronas. I'm making um, a bowl that I use for wreaths. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm more than welcome to answer any questions. Okay, so now I'm cutting the ends. Cutting the ends and I'm going to do it on the angle. Ahora mismo estoy cortando la, las puntas de, de los lazos y haciéndolo como un ángulo, como si fuera un triángulo. I'm making like a triangle on the end. Welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me tonight. Bienvenidos a todos. Gracias por estar aquí conmigo. Okay. So, aquí estoy cortando la... Voy a cortar esto un poquito porque quedó más larga que la otra. I'm just cutting the end of this ribbon because it's longer than the other one. Okay, there you go. So, all right, so I'm going to cut this end too. And then this one is the longer ribbon. I call it a little tail. It's the longer, but it's going to look very pretty at the end of when you put it, when you attach it to the wreath. You guys also can follow me um, on Facebook. It's the same name that I'm using on TikTok. These are custom reefs. Okay, so yo usé cuatro cintas. Yo usé esta cinta que está aquí, que esta es 2.5. Usé la pequeña, que esta es un, una pulgada. Entonces usé la la, color, la, la, la roja, esta es 2.0 de pulgada y usé esta este, negra y blanca que es 2.0. Tú, eh, tú puedes usar, yo uso um, cuatro, yo hago este como cuatro, este, porque son cuatro, este etapa so yo uso cuatro so what i'm saying that um i use four different ribbons to make this um ribbon i mean this bowl i'm sorry so i like to use four of them because you know it looks you can see the different colors and everything but if i want to make it a solid color i also use the the four steps i go from the base the bot the middle then the other middle and the top the top, I always, always make two loops. And I always make sure that your ribbons are wire ribbons because it's easier to make. And it will make the loops to, to stay on it. Okay, so I think I got all my ends. No, I do not. I got another one. Voy cortando todos los lo que me falta. Disculpe, mi español. Me, me pongo nerviosa cuando hablo los dos idiomas. <risa> este, porque en mi casa solamente hablo inglés. En, a, a amistades hablo español, pero en casa todo es inglés. <risa> ok. Um. Ok. So, I'm done with the bowl. I already cut everything, the ends of it. 
So this is how it looks. Look at how pretty. Very simple, very quick, and very fun to make. Esto es algo muy fácil de hacer, muy simple y muy bonito. Que esto se ve muy bello cuando uno lo pone este en la corona. Le voy a enseñar uno como yo lo puse en la corona. Miren qué bello. Así lo pongo en la corona, entonces esto lo pongo más largo. I just want to show you how I put it um, in a wreath. Look at how pretty. And then I'm this one I made the tail a little bit longer because I wanted to go, you know, toward the end of the wreath. But this is how I made them. Very cute. You know, it's depend of what kind of uh, wreath you want to make. And then you can um you know, it depends on the reef that you want to make. And you want to make the tail a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. That's up to you. You can, um, eso también tú lo puedes hacer. Yo hice mucho para la, para Navidad. Yo hice este tipo de, de lazo para Navidad, pero en este caso lo hace más grande. So somebody was asking me, um, what else can you put this bow on it? I said that, um... I make bigger ones for to uh, Christmas topper. I make a few of them. And the same way that I made this one, the same te technique is the same way I, that I made it for the Christmas topper, but the bowl was more bigger. And I had to use more ribbon, of course. And the tail would have been more longer because I wanted to go around on the side of the, of the tree. Thank you everybody for those who joined me. This is my first time doing TikTok live. I appreciate all you guys who's watching tonight. Um, just here making a simple bowl, which I'm gonna be using this for um, in some Valentine's wreath that I'm gonna be making tomorrow. So I appreciate you all guys. Do you guys have any more questions? I can answer you. Like I said, you guys can follow me also on Facebook. I have also Instagram. And I also have my YouTube channel that I opened up the other day. For those who want to, you know, pause the video, go step by step, how I made it. Be more than welcome. And for those who are starting, you know, brief business or any type of business, I recommend to have... A little measurement like this you can find this in dollar tree for dollar 25 and it helps a lot to make especially the the bowls so for the for all the people who are starting to do their things or who want to make este como se dicen quieren hacer lazo para cualquier cosa lo pueden hacer pueden conseguir esto en dollar tree Y esto la puede ayudar para que puedan este, um, este coger las medidas de cómo hacer los lazos. Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys to be here tonight. So this is going to be a quick video. I already made the bowls. And you can see this how pretty. I'm going to be making more videos too. Like when I'm starting making a, a reef from scratch. How I make it and all the home decors. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys, for joining me tonight. I appreciate you. Have a blessed day. I mean, a blessed night. I will see you then. More videos going to come soon. God bless you all.